Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm here at City Walk at Universal Orlando and I'm actually going to start this video out here in City Walk because we got some new details about all that construction that's been going on right there at City Walk. So let's go over there and check it out first before we head anywhere else. The sun's kind of in a bad spot right now because of the shade, but here we have it. Universal Studio Store coming soon. Universal's premier retail experience. There's kind of a close-up of the concept artwork. It's hard to make out any details as to what's going to be in the shop. Based upon this concept artwork, it's kind of pixelated. Almost looks like Mardi Gras colors there. Um, but there you have it. Construction continues on it here at City Walk. I don't know if there's any other uh, concept artwork. Let's go see. Just to kind of give you an idea where this store is, this is the corner when you come around and you head down to Universal Studios. You can kind of see the globe right there. Uh, they closed several stores um, on this corner and it looks like this whole entire corner section. There used to be a surf shop here, a couple other little uh, smaller stores. Uh, but it looks like they're turning them all into one giant Universal Studios store. And there is another piece of concept artwork over here. This obviously features a Minion section with all sorts of Minion merchandise. So it looks like we're going to have a, uh, a Minions section. Uh, and you can see some sort of merchandise pickup. And uh, cashier checkout. And there's one more piece of concept artwork over here. This is the most interesting piece, believe it or not, because if you look right here, looks like you can see Mario and Luigi. So it looks like we are getting some sort of Nintendo section in this new gift shop. Now over here at the current Universal Studios store, they are setting up almost like retro Universal Studios displays. You see the retro Universal Studios logo there. They have like a director's chair, some Universal Studios production department props, some lights interesting and there's another display over here on this side of the store again with the Universal Studios Florida logo uh, and they have some of the retro merchandise that's been out for a little bit the fanny pack the t-shirt and uh, some more props that make it look like a, a movie set like lighting I'm trying to stand in the shadow here so you can see it Universal Studios production department again I'm gonna go inside and see if there's anything going on inside the store. So they are doing stuff here inside the store. They're actually setting up little retro displays of old Universal Studios Florida. It looks like there's Jaws. Looks like over here you got Alfred Hitchcock. There's Confrontation. There's some models way up there. I can't see, almost looks like Legends of the Hidden Temple. Or no, what is that? I can't tell, but there's all sorts of them over here. You got some classic monster stuff. You got Frankenstein's monster, Jaws again. There's Earthquake. Some retro Universal Studios pictures. Really cool. I love this. And further back in this shop, it looks like they have some Islands of Adventure stuff over here. You can see the uh, concept for the lighthouse and this looks like Jurassic Park then this looks like Poseidon's Fury the big portal that opens up to the water vortex tunnel really cool here's another concept piece for Jurassic Park and that looks like it's about it for this section Looks like they have an alien section over here up top. You got a picture of E.T. And in the back there, I don't know if you can see it, looks like construction for E.T. Another photo of E.T. Really cool. I don't know if you can see it, but way up there, up on top of the shelf, they have a, a model of the old Enchanted Oak Tavern in Lost Continent. Try to stretch my arm so you can see it. That's really cool. 
and then obviously they're they're changing this to look like medieval stuff this is all really cool and then over here we have a clothing rack with some ghostbusters uh uniforms on it and you got some luggage around it I'm trying to see what else is up on there it's got some jackets this almost looks halloween themed that's kind of interesting uh and then over here i was trying to figure out what these would be themed after or like bombs or something <laughs> Um, and then obviously over here you have a dinosaur section with a dinosaur skull, some dinosaur eggs, some shipping containers up there. So this looks like kind of like a Jurassic World, Jurassic Park theming. All right, let's head over into, see it behind me, Islands of Adventure. Take a quick lap around the park, see what's going on, see if we can maybe, maybe catch VelociCoaster testing. And uh, they made some new enhancements to the area, so let's go check it out. Hello from Hogsmeade. Let's see what the, uh, the crowd seem kind of light today. Um, so let's see what the wait time for Hagrid's is. Currently the line is here to check into the lockers. It says 55 minutes. Um, usually that's inflated, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was closer to maybe 30, 45. Could be 55. But every time I've ridden during the weekdays, they usually inflate it, so. All right, let's head on into uh, Jurassic Park and see what's going on with VelociCoaster. An awesome new VelociCoaster signage has been added right when you walk in from the uh, Wizarding World entrance. Right here is the popcorn stand. Over here is the watering hole bar. Um, and it looks like, I'm guessing underneath this summer 2021 is a wait time sign because once that comes off, this sign looks pretty permanent. And I know I did a live stream of it, but here is the new area of Alaska Coaster with the walls down in glorious high definition. Because a high, oh, 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 almost make it. Here's the launch tunnel down in here where you Launch down this way, and then you go up over the top hat back there. This ride looks so amazing. All of us here at Thrill Geek, we're so excited to ride. And here's a view further back of the paddocks with the, with the walls that they had up against these down. Gives you some really fantastic views of the coaster. And then down here by the River Adventure entrance, which is over here, these uh, walls came down as well, giving you a really fantastic view of the coaster. The waterfall is not running today. Doesn't look like the coaster is testing at all yet, but some really awesome views from down here. And over here in Toon Lagoon, Popeye, Jurassic Park River Adventure have wrapped up their seasonal maintenance. And now construction walls are up around Dudley Do-Right for its seasonal maintenance this time of the year all the water rides here at islands of adventure go down get some much needed tlc before the uh the long spring and summer months all right we're moving on here and some sad news uh as you guys know it has been officially announced that blue man group here at city walk is no more and recently all of the signage the big um these big structures that used to say Blue Man Group all over it, uh, they've been covered with black. And back here, let's take a walk back here. Walk with me. It is now fenced off. As you can see, they have it blocked off and so nobody can get back there anymore and all the blue man again all these rip ride rocket coming by hold on all right um all of these blue man group signs have also been replaced and just covered in black so no more blue man group and the building itself the sound stage has been the blue man group mural has been covered with blue paint so that is no more as well all right, let's take a quick lap around uh, Universal Studios, 
check out Mardi Gras, see if there's anything else going on here at the studios. One thing that's really cool about Mardi Gras this year, even though we aren't getting the parade, I love having the floats out here to get up close and personal, especially King Gator here. Since they added all the enhancements for the 25th anniversary last year, that unfortunately got cut short. But it's always cool, to, it's really cool to see the floats up close. Now, Blue Man Group isn't the only thing that has met its fate here at Universal. A Day in the Park with Barney has also been, an, it's also been announced that it is permanently closed. And as you can tell, they've painted over the gift shop that used to be up here. No word on if that's going to reopen into anything. And then back here by the, uh, where the entrance for a day in the park with Barney used to be, you can see that the fountain that used to have Barney in it has also been removed. So no more Barney. Now, I don't remember, I was here on opening night for Mardi Gras, I haven't been back since, but I don't remember the pirate float being here. Um, I forgot where, maybe it was over by Fear Factor, I can't remember, but it is now here in the uh, New York section. And yes, even inside the park over here, right in front of the main gift shop, in the front of Universal Studios Florida, the statue of the Blue Man Group that used to be right here on the corner next to uh, Despicable Me, Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, is now gone, and it looks like they're in the final moments of uh, removing it. And it looks like Velocicoaster merchandise has also made its way over here to the studios as well. Got all the different T-shirts. Got the coffee mug. And then over here you got the keychain. Got a magnet set. Lanyard, the socks. And at the exit, the exit gift shop over here at Universal Studios, it's called It's a Wrap. It looks like the, uh, the Blue Man Group merchandise has made its way over here to the sale section. They got the light, they got the uh, light up drumsticks. Looks like they got a t-shirt down here. Looks like I got a coffee mug. I got another t-shirt over here. It looks like they got a shot glass. A couple different shot glasses over here. And a water bottle. Looks like a Tervis. And another t-shirt down here. All right, guys, that's it here from Universal Orlando Resort. As always, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you guys. Make sure you leave a comment in the video. We always like hearing, talking with you guys. Uh, be sure to like the video and uh, be sure to listen to our podcast. You know, the Thrill Geek podcast, we do it bi-weekly. Uh, we talk about all the latest theme park news, pop culture goodies, all that good stuff. You can find it anywhere. Uh, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music. We got it everywhere. So be sure to listen to that. And uh, be safe. Wear a mask. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Be safe.